In this video, you are going to learn about conditionals. Conditional sentences, the structure. A conditional sentence is composed of two parts. If clause, main clause. Look at this example. If it rains tomorrow, I will not come. If it rains tomorrow, that's the if clause. I will not come. This is the main clause. Let's start with the types. How many types do we have? We have zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. So how many types? We have four types. And you can revise them well in the grammar reference at the end of your student book. Let's start by type zero. We use it when we talk about general truth or scientific facts. Tense, we use present tense in both clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Example, if you pour oil into water, it floats. Here we have pour oil, it floats. Present simple tense. So we use present tense in both clauses. In type one, you can use it when you speak about real situation likely to happen in the present or future. Tenses in the if clause, you can use present tense, and in the main clause, you can use future tense. Let's look at this example. If I feel sick, I will not go to school. If I feel sick, I will not go to school. Here we have feel in the if clause, which is present simple tense. And here we have will plus infinitive. Okay, look at this situation. It's three o'clock and John is at work. He doesn't feel well. He has a terrible headache. How can we ex express this situation using F? Yes, we can say if John doesn't feel better, he will go home early. Here we have doesn't feel, that's present symbol in negation form. He will go. We have will plus infinitive. Will plus infinitive. So if John doesn't feel better soon, he will go home early. In type 2, we can use it when we speak about unreal or imaginary situation in the present, future, and we can use it when we give advice. Tenses. In the if clause, we can use past tense, and in the main clause, we can use would plus infinitive. Let's look at this example. If I had money, I would buy a car. If I had money, past simple tense, I would buy a car. Would plus infinitive. Another example. If I wear you, if I wear you, I would see a doctor. Here we have where we can use it with the pronoun I, okay, and we have I would see, would plus infinitive. That's in type 2. Okay, now look at this situation. What would you do if you had a lot of money? If you look at the first picture, I would buy a new house if I had a lot of money. We have would buy and had, second condition. Okay, the next one, if I had a lot of money, I would take a trip around the world. I would take a trip around the world. In type 3, you can use it when you speak about imaginary situation in the past, regrets, or criticism. The tense used, if close, past perfect tense, main close, would have plus past participle. Example, if I had had enough money, I would have bought the camera. Now let's do some exercises. Rewrite the following sentences. I lost my passport so I couldn't travel. Use F. 
exactly it would be if I hadn't lost my passport I would have traveled this is type 3 I twisted my ankle while I was playing football advice when we speak about advice we use if I wear you I would put an ice pack when we speak about advice we use wear and in the main clause we use would put correct the verbs in brackets if you not be well you should stay in think if you are not well you should stay in that's first conditional if I know that I would have made dinner so this is yes right the third type so if I had known great if you were rich for a day what do yes what would you do number four if I had here past perfect the news I would have told you that is the third condition number five the world would be a better place if more people give money to charities would be so give would be gave that's right thank you guys for listening hope you have benefited from that goodbye and see you in another video